Say something for the podcast. Tell the people what you feel. I'm just jazzed about being on the show, man. You are listening to The Objective Jerk, where objectiveness is the objective, and I am said jerk. Wokeness. Wokeness. Woke. Again. Didn't I just... What's my... Can't think of... Yeah, I talked a little bit about it. And then before that, it was like, you know, the LGBTQ, RS, W, V, X, Y, Z. And wokeness just doesn't work either. Woke. Woke is the enemy. If you'd like to email me, please do at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com. Or you can message me on Twitter and Facebook and all that stuff. And Or go to the website, the, the, the Podbean. Just click on the link that you're listening to this. Um, let me see. What's the website? It's theobjectivejerk.podbean.com. All right. All right. So, um, this is not planned. I just kind of, you know, saw some shit and was like, what the hell? So talk about it. So I talked a little bit about, um, well, not a little, a lot, I guess on, I think it's the episode before this about the 90s show. I watched the 90s show, and I actually enjoyed it. It wasn't as funny, but they did not butcher it with wokeness, which is what I was really afraid of. You know, I thought they were going to, you know, they have a gay character in it, which is fine. That's fine. And even if the main girl was, you know, gay, it would have been like, okay, whatever, but okay, so. Um, but, you know. It works, you know, because they didn't go full retard, you know. You guys ever watched Tropic Thunder? It's one of the funniest movies ever. And uh, it hurts a lot of people's feelings nowadays. But anyway, and it's not that old, 2008. But anyway, um, so I don't know if you've seen that movie, but he talks about, you know, like, the guy that Robert Downey Jr. is playing, he's, he talks about how uh, Forrest Gump, you know, won the Oscar. Because he was, you know, he was an idiot, but he had personality and he could do stuff. You know, he wasn't like a complete, you know, as uh, what's-his-face in uh, uh, The Hangover would say, a retard. Um, but then Sean Penn did that movie where he was a complete handicap and that's why he's like never go full retard <laughs> and that's kind of the same you know you never go full anything if you go full anything it's not gonna work you know what I mean um, you gotta you gotta figure out how to do just a little bit I don't know so like you know the 90s show a little bit of wokeness, actually a lot less than I thought, but not really anything, to be honest. Um, but, and then it's like where they, when they turn the woke factor up in shows like the, the He-Man movie and um, on Netflix, you know, they basically made it the Tila show, you know. And everybody was like, oh, well, it's Masters of the Universe and blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, it's He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, not Tila and the Masters of the Universe. So it's like, if you want to kind of bring Tila into the story more, then that's fine. But you don't totally get rid of He-Man. That's just stupid. You know, yeah, make Tila an important part. That's great. She was always kind of an important part anyway. But just the way they did it, it just, they fucked it up. And now there's um, the Scooby-Doo show, which I haven't watched. I'm not going to watch. I just, <clears throat> I, I read reviews and various things. But see, in that show, they clearly, clearly went full woke, full retard. Now... Could they have just made um, Velma the Indian girl that she is and maybe like she's kind of a bigger part of, of you know, the mystery gang than before? Yeah, they could have done that and left everyone else alone. 
Um, but then it's like, okay, so they make Velma Indian, which I guess it's like they kind of make her unlikable. And maybe that's because the rest of the show, all the characters are unlikable. Um, they make Daphne like have lesbian parents that are police officers that shoot people all the time. And then you got the shaggy guy who's now like a, a Rasta black dude. And then you have uh, Fred that's like an ego, typical, you know, cis white male. And then they don't even have Scooby. So it's like, dude, pick. You can't fucking have every single character have some sort of woke trait. or what, You know what I mean? It's like, dude, and the show is like getting eviscerated by both um, critics and people, you know, audience or whatever. Because they just, they, they turned on the wokeness to 11. They went full woke. They went full retard. And you don't fucking do that, man. It's just, it's like, how is it these people just don't, they don't get it. They don't, I don't understand. I, th it, I think it's because they don't care because they fucking get paid whether the show they'll just get another show and they'll write something and I don't know they keep getting work it's like amazes me you know the film industry and everything is losing money like crazy and they're like oh it's because of the pandemic no I mean that hurt it a little bit for a little while but no it's because they can't put out anything good everything's garbage because they have they're hiring all these stupid writers that or they're hiring people based on their sexual orientation or their color of their skin and shit instead of okay are you a good fucking writer what are, you know what are your ideas or whatever but i don't know and they keep doing it they keep doing it so now the reason i'm kind of talking about this is because they're doing the same shit I mean, they've already been doing I think it's been a year since they started this, but they're doing the same shit to one of my most favorite comic book characters. When I was growing up, I was into comics. I wasn't a huge nerd. I didn't read fucking every comic and know everything. I just was, I you know, I hit a certain age and then I was buying comics as they came out. I didn't go and read the old ones or this and that. And I didn't buy, you know what I mean? I just bought comics as they came out. So this is the early 90s. And my two favorite characters were Wolverine and the Punisher. And everybody knows about Wolverine, but the Punisher... The Punisher, I liked the Punisher because it was realistic. It was he was a real like anybody could be the Punisher. You know what I mean? There was no spider bite or there was no whatever. He was just a normal dude that fucking was on a warpath and he fucked people up and it was like realistic and I remember reading like Punisher War Journals, and it was like watching an, uh, an action movie, you know, it was like watching Die Hard, or reading Die Hard on a comic book, sort of, you know what I mean, and it was cool, I don't know, I, I enjoyed them, um, you know, and then that first Punisher movie with Dolph Lundgren was kind of a letdown, maybe more than kind of, but, and then that one that came out with, uh, Fucking Thomas Jane and John Travolta. That was kind of a letdown too for me, honestly. There was lots of things about it I didn't like. I liked um, Thomas Jane as the Punisher. And I liked that fucking... Some of the fight scenes, you know, like the where he's fighting the big Russian or he, the, the hitman guy. Chase him down in the car and stuff like that. Like, there's some good things about it. But I did not like John Travolta's character and that whole thing. And I thought it was kind of stupid. And then they did uh, Punisher Warzone with... I don't know the fucking guy's name. But he looked fucking just like some of the comics that I remember. And it was kind of good. But, it like, it was really violent, which I liked. Um... But it was kind of campy. So, I don't know. I have it. I haven't watched it in a while. Maybe I'll watch it again. 
but I didn't like the jigsaw guy. It was just a little too much, and and I don't know. But I think if you put those last two Punisher movies together, man, probably could have had something pretty good. But anyway, so, you know, that's kind of been it. And then back in, like, what was it, 2016, 17, something like that, fucking Netflix drops that trailer for the Punisher. And I had not gotten that excited or had the biggest boner for a show or a movie in I don't know how long. Like, I saw that trailer and I was just like, oh, fuck yeah, I was so excited. Um, I watched it, I don't know how many times, the trailer alone. I was just like, fuck yeah, dude, that looks so badass. And... If you haven't seen the trailer for the Netflix Punisher, fucking watch it. It's so good. I mean, that fucking trailer is better than fucking most of the shit that comes out nowadays. <clears throat> I mean, I could watch that trailer, you know, <laughs> over watching some of the shit that comes out. Just put it on repeat for fucking three hours instead of watching a three hour dumbass fucking movie. And I would get more enjoyment out of it. But, um, so yeah, so that came out and it was fucking awesome. I mean, it was a little more, you know, it was a series. So it's like it kind of, it's, it's got some slow, but it, you know, it's a, it's a series. So it's got to pull you in and stuff. But it had some great, um, great everything, really. I mean, I did the, the fucking guy who played Jigsaw, basically. Um, I don't know. He he was like my least favorite. It wasn't bad, but that was like my least favorite thing. I would rather just... I don't know. You know, he... I mean, the thing with the, the background and the military. Like how they were like a killer, whatever. And then... I don't know. Like, I kind of liked it, but... I liked the... I like the the original Punisher story where, you know, his family was killed by mobsters, you know, whether it was accidental or whatever. And then he's like, you know what, fuck this, I'm going to fucking kill every mobster bad guy I can, you know, so it doesn't happen to anybody else or whatever. So I kind of like, you know, I like the old school whatever. But, you know, they did a little spin on it and... It was actually targeted and this and that. So it was a little different. Oh, and then also, too, the Daredevil. Because actually, that's where you first see Punisher. And I didn't see... I didn't watch Daredevil. Um, I was so fucking, like... Um, I don't know. Turned off by the movie with Ben Affleck. That the show, I just was like, yeah, I don't care. And then when season two of Daredevil came out and it had... John Bernthal as the Punisher. That's when I was like, oh shit, well maybe that's, you know, Punisher. That's kind of cool. And, but I believe I watched the Punisher <clears throat> show, the actual first season before I watched Daredevil. So I watched the first uh, Punisher season and then I was like all like fucking fiending for some more Punisher, so I was like, I want to watch season two of, of Daredevil, just because I want to watch the Punisher, but I don't want to fucking start at season two, so I watched season one, and it was a good show, it was a really good show, and then that fucking scene in the second season with Punisher in the fucking cell, where he just fucks up everybody, dude, oh my god, that shit is badass, it reminds me of the warehouse scene in Batman vs. Superman. <clears throat> but so you have this his you know iconic character being portrayed for the first time like correctly it's like oh man are they going to do a movie you know they they do with second season the second season was okay um but it was you know it was still good and then you know fucking disney bought 
Marvel, and so then everything from Netflix went to Disney Plus. So I don't even know. I don't have Disney Plus. I don't even know if you can watch the Punisher shows on there. They should have fucking. They should have still left them on there because I would watch them again on Netflix. But um, so then that happened. Before they were gone, though, my dad even, and he's not a comic book person. He don't fucking know. I mean, he kind of, you know, he was watching, he liked Iron Man and some of that stuff. But he watched the, the Punisher show, and he watched that shit like, like it was crack, man. He watched both seasons in like a day and a half or something. I was like, damn. So he really liked it. You know, it was a good show, and it was it was good to see the Punisher get fucking something good you know and now who knows tv show or movie wise but in the comics wokeness is fucking it up again so in the comics now so actually about a year ago they started oh i'm clicking the pen again god i need like a fidget spinner um it's a good thing i have these headphones because i don't think i would have noticed this um, but they, they ru- they did like a new iteration of the Punisher and it's like, okay. And I, I don't know, like, I guess, you know, they, they redo and they fucking shit all the time. I get it. And it's not like they can't change anything back, but let me tell you what they did. So they took the Punisher and now instead of using guns, he has like swords and, and he fights and stuff. And instead of the Punisher logo, he has some stupid Mastodon looking fucking thing because woke people don't like the Punisher logo because they attribute it to law enforcement officers or men who like guns in the military and stuff like that. So they want to get rid of it. And now like they're given, uh, the Punisher, Frank Castle, like superpowers. And he's going to fucking go against Wolverine and shit like that. And it's like, what the fuck dude? Why not? You know, if, 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 if you don't like the Punisher, just, just fucking shelve them. Put him somewhere else and then make some new character that's going to suck. And then, you know, I mean, you know, and like I said, they can always re rechange it. But the thing that, the thing that's funny to me is like, the you know, they're doing all these, the woke fuck face cock sucking dickheads. Like they're taking, you know, our beloved fucking franchises and 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 whatever and they're adding you know racial people and this and that and gay and all this kind of shit and it's just like instead of creating new ones they're making the existing ones suck and it's like and they do suck the fucking comics are fucking garbage um None of them are selling. The ones that are selling are manga. I can't even say it right. But it's like the Japanese. Those are the fucking comics that are in the States. They're outselling anything that Marvel or DC is putting out. Because they have a bunch of woke, stupid, piece of shit, cocksucking assholes. Riding this garbage for the 1% of the people. So nobody's buying it. And their fucking shit is like, you know. It's like... the. They're just, they're dumb. It's like, you know what? If you want to have, like, wokeness, then have a little fucking woke little part, little whatever, and leave the fucking comics the right way, how they're, you know, most people like them. But no, they don't do that. They don't think like that, because they think like, oh, they won't like it at first, maybe, but they'll get used to it. No, shit's never going to sell. It's never going to sell. It's all garbage. And the proof is in the pudding, man. It's all trash. But what I was saying, though, is like with the Punisher, you could honestly get away with reinventing him 
as a black dude or even a woman. You know what I mean? Like temporarily, maybe. Um, create a new story. Like I was, I, for, uh, in college, well, community college, I, I took a course in creative writing and I wrote a short story, excuse me, of how, like a, a different, um, iteration of how, you know, the Punisher came to be. And, and then what my take was, he was in the military Special Forces, same thing, but his family was killed in 9-11, and, and, the, and he was on one of the planes or whatever. And so he, you know, went over to Iraq or Afghanistan, whatever, I can't remember which, I think I did Iraq because that's where I went, so I was kind of writing from experience. Um, and like just basically goes AWOL and then just embeds himself like a tick. And just starts killing terrorists, you know, the same way. And, you know, I fucking even came up with a little... Because I used to draw drawing. He's like bald and he's got a beard. And, you know, so it's like you can... I think you could change the Punisher temporarily. You know, make, a, make it someone different. But you can't change basically what he is, you know, with the guns and everything. Um, you can make him black... Uh, making him gay, that wouldn't work, I don't think. But, um, or even a woman, you know? I don't know. It's just, the way they choose to do shit is just, I don't know who to blame more, the writers or the people that okay this shit. It's like, what the fuck are you, I just don't get it. And the shit's failing, everything is failing, nothing is good. Nothing. And they're not... They're not fucking getting it, you know? That's And this is why I was so surprised about the 90s show. Because I was expecting the same shit. But um, it actually looked like they were trying to stay true to true to form, you know? Change it enough to where it still worked. So, I don't know. You know, just because they changed the Punisher, which I think they should have just fucking shelved him if they want to and just come up with a different character um you know it can always they can do it again it's not like the character is going to be gone or disappeared or something like that you know so maybe we're not going to get another show with john bernthal or a movie or anything like that anytime soon but i think someday we will and i hope i hope the people that are behind it are the same or the like they're like-minded as you know they're the same kind of people that did the show because the show was really good if you hadn't watched well fuck it's not on netflix now if you have disney plus i don't even know if it's playing on disney plus but if you do if you <laughs> if you have disney plus check it out it's an awesome show what's his face kills it i mean he's a little small for Punisher, but he does a good job, so, um, I think that's it, I just was like, I don't know, Punisher, man, it's like one of my fucking favorite all-time comic books, and they're just trying to destroy everything, you know, I was trying to think about, like, what, what kind of, what character, maybe that was created, like, years ago, that they totally destroyed, like, in the, you know, 80s or 90s or something. Like, was there a character? I'm trying to think of, like, what's something that, you know, came out that my parents would have been like, oh, my God, they totally ruined it. And I couldn't really think of anything. I mean, I'm sure I could Google something. Something would come up. But I think, you know, it's like people, they didn't, take something and ruin it, they just, they, I mean, they did, like, the Wizard of Oz with Michael Jackson and shit like that, but for the most part, things were just, they were creating new characters and stories and stuff, but, like, everything's been done, nothing, nothing new can be done, so now instead of creating something new, they're just taking old 
established properties and, and fucking ruining them. You know, and like I said, it's like, you know, if you want to do a different Punisher, make him a black dude that, you know, lost, I don't know, something updated a little bit. Dude, I, I would have watched that. That would have been fine. I don't care if he's black or not. I just fucking, I love the fucking, the, the story, the anger, the pain, the revenge. And, you know, and it was realistic. It was, you know, I could, it's like. I could be the fucking Punisher if I wanted to. Uh, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's just it's 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 obtainable. <laughs> maybe that's maybe that's why. Maybe it's a bad thing to think about. It's like, oh, I could be a superhero. I was gonna kill a bunch of people, but no, that's not the case. Except if I think was it my last or no my podcast before where I talked about that mother that went hunting down the people that were involved with the kidnapping of her daughter. But, I don't know, it's just, it just kind of sucks, because it's, you know, I I always enjoyed a good movie, a good show, um, I grew up with the comics, and I was on, I was full board on with, like, Marvel Phase 1, 2, and 3, I guess, you know, Iron Man came out, and it was like, dude, this is badass, I liked The Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton, and the Thor movie was okay, but I was on board, you know, and then the Avengers movie, and Captain America, I was like, fuck yeah, man, this is cool, but it all really did end for me with Endgame, I was just kind of like, okay, that's the end of the story, I'm good, and I'm just like, I'm fucking sick to death of superhero shit, you know, there's like, my kids are like, oh, this watch, they want to watch, uh, I don't know, what's that show on Amazon? The Boys, I think it's called. And I'm just... I I just don't care to fucking see anything new involving superheroes. I'm just... I'm like, I'm done. I'll rewatch some of the Marvel movies or like... Uh, you know, Mystery Men. <laughs> That's a good movie if you haven't seen it. Or... Uh, um, fucking, what the hell? What's the movie that Zack Snyder did? Off that, uh, comic, the fucking, damn it. It's got, um, The Watchmen. There we go. So I have that on Blu-ray, so I'll watch that. But I'm really just kind of just done. Like, I haven't watched the new uh, fucking uh, Batman. I didn't watch the newer Suicide Squad. I didn't watch... Um, I haven't seen the Doctor Strange. Like, just any of the... I, the only one I've seen is the Spider-Man No Way Home. Or wait. Far From... Or whatever the newest one was. Where it had all the different Spider-Mans from the different movies. That was the last kind of... New superhero movie that I watched. Definitely that I watched and enjoyed, but I don't think I watched anything. I watched that um, Sylvester Stallone one where he's, it's kind of like he's a garbage man and he was a superhero. I think I might have talked about it. It's called, uh, I don't fucking remember, but it was pretty good, but I totally fucking, there's a twist that to me was very obvious, but it was, it was, it was still pretty good. But that's that's about it, man. I'm just fucking done with superhero shit. And so I'm having a hard time finding something new to watch or to get into. Um, it just kind of sucks. Like, what's, what's, what's the next big thing that's going to happen? I don't know. It's crazy. But anyway, okay. I've been, I've been fucking rambling on for, oh shit, a half hour. Okay, well, um... Thanks for listening. This has been The Objective Jerk. And I uh, appreciate all your earlobes. And um, if you would like to email me, you can at theobjectivejerk at gmail.com. You can like this podcast or make a comment or do any of that kind of stuff. You can follow so you get all the podcasts. All of them are, I have like 70-something episodes. So check them out. Um, That's it. Thanks for listening. Until next time. Yay, yay, yay.